All right, we're back. It's November, the 1st of November, so you all know what it means. It means a month where you should not unleash, release your dragon's breath, so to speak. Now, as you see in the title of this video, I want to share some insights on how to stop watching porn. But first, a message from the sponsor of this video. I want you to immediately go to legugloria.com, place an order for some underwear and also place an order for Dauntless and Demigod Mentality. I want you all to read both books and implement the teachings therein. So do check it out. First link in the description box below. We've also had some epic new releases that you can check out. And now back to the video at hand. So since you're already here, I probably do not need to explain to you why pornography is bad. You most likely already know that it is bad in a wide variety of ways. Perhaps I'll make a separate video detailing exactly why it's so bad, but you can say that it messes up your brain big time and it removes the pleasure of sex from your life and it will have a negative impact on your worldview as well. And of course, if you watch porn, you support an industry which destroys the lives of women. And I will say that, of course, obviously, we will, when we get to power, we will forbid pornography. And you can ask yourself, why is it still legal? Yes, it's because the forces of evil, they are still in control of our nations. That's why pornography is still legal. Anyway, you can still stop watching it. It doesn't need to be illegal for you to stop watching it. So let's get straight into how you can approach pornography. So in practical terms, it's quite easy. You can just quickly distract your mind by doing something else. So physically remove yourself from the computer or the phone or however you um, consume pornography. So simply walk away. That's the best thing. Second best thing is to distract yourself by something else on the computer. You can do some good old power gaming that you, you know, you concentrate on something very intensely instead of uh, letting your thoughts drift off to pornography. So this is the easiest practical tip to just quickly redirect your mind, focus intensely on something else. Now we can actually take a step back, go even deeper. So doing some psychomagical techniques in order for you to change the way you perceive porn. So perhaps you view pornography now as a as a way to escape for a while every day or, God forbid, several times a day. So maybe you view it as a comfort, same as comfort food. You know, you feel bad, so therefore you eat bad food to make you happy. And same thing here, perhaps you feel bad in your life and therefore you have pornography as a sort of escape or something like that. So that means you also view it in that sense, you view it as something positive. Our job then is to reframe it into something negative, which it is. So instead of viewing it in a positive light, view it as a literal demon. So view it as a demon who gets stronger for every time you succumb to its temptations. So this is what you can view it as. And if you instill this picture in your mind, a literal demon, however you want to picture said demon, but this is literally what it is that, you know, takes a part of your soul and your mind every time you succumb to its desires. So view it as a test of wills. And the more you watch it, the stronger the demon will get. The less you watch it, the weaker the demon will get. And I say this as someone who hasn't watched porn for maybe 15 years or so, that after a few days, after a few weeks, and then after a few years, the the temptation, it disappears completely. So the most difficult part is the first few days. And then after that, the first few weeks, and after that, you are much stronger than the demon, and therefore you can defeat said demon in a much easier way. Whereas if you continuously, you keep the demon in your mind, it will get power over you. If you keep the temptation in your mind, instead of just quitting completely one day, so don't think that you can, you know, do it once a week or something like that. You need to cut it out completely and then the temptation will disappear also. This is true for many things, by the way. You can apply the same teaching when it comes to drugs or alcohol or bad food or whatever it might be. Now, food is, of course, a bit different because you have a physiological need to actually eat. But to watch pornography, there is absolutely no need for it. There is no biological need. I know there are people who are coping, saying that, you know, it's normal, it's natural, and everything like that, but it's absolutely not. And you can just look at these individuals. They look sick because they are sick and they are completely rotten 
thanks to their um, their inner demon that continues to eat them from the inside and out. So that is the appropriate way to view pornography, that view it as a demon that it will gain power over you every time you succumb to it. So the practical advice is to, again, physically remove yourself from the computer or from the phone or wherever so that you can't do it. And then also to quickly redirect your mind to do something else. Now, this practical advice, it's much easier to implement if you first have restructured your mind. So again, psychomagical techniques, how you restructure your psyche, your mind, how you perceive the world, how you perceive different things. And then, of course, when you have started to gain all of these victories over said demon. So if you have, you know, you decide today on the 1st of November to stop watching porn, then you have, you know, a great victory over said demon. And that is also the biggest victory that you today you decide to not watch porn. And then tomorrow you will have the same struggle. It might be equally hard, but then you know at least you've built up a momentum, you have built some confidence that you managed to at least stay clear today. So therefore it will be easier tomorrow because you have the blueprint how to do it. You've built up a momentum and confidence that you can actually push through, you can actually push away the demon and then you know that, yeah, it will be desperate, it will try to come back to you, try to tempt you back into these soul-crushing activities. And then you say no again, and you've done it for five, five, six times then. And yeah, now you're really going into a good momentum here. It's much easier going forward for you to say no to it. And then all of a sudden, two weeks have gone, three weeks have gone, and you feel a lot stronger. And then you decide to, you know what, I can definitely do this. I am well clear of this temptation. I've passed through this jungle of um, temptations already so everyone should stop watching porn i assure you your life will be better for it now i hear some of you ask how about unleashing your dragon's breath by yourself i would definitely suggest that you do not do it i know some guys they say also as a cope that it's healthy and good and normal to do it but i see no value in wasting that precious energy so you can view your dragon's breath as something that has the capacity to quite literally create life. So you can imagine quite a bit of creative potential. So instead of unleashing that for nothing at all, retain it and you will have a lot more energy and, you know, motivation to pursue your goals. And it's quite logical. If you have satisfied that need, you will be less hungry for life. So as the saying goes, the hungry wolf is the better hunter. So same thing here that the the man who has not released his dragon's breath, he has more creative potential. And this is, you know, not only me saying this, you can find so many high Thumas men throughout the years who say the same thing. And you see religious teachings as well. And this has nothing to do with morality or anything like that. It has to do with, do you want to optimize your life as a man? Yes, then if you retain your dragon's breath, then you will have more energy to pursue your goals. And this also, we can even take it one step further. If you are engaged in a nocturnal activity with a woman, with your woman, I should say it's good to be with only one woman, it's not good to engage in promiscuous behavior, then you can also engage in these activities without actually releasing your dragon's breath. You can actually have intercourse without unleashing, so that will create a lot of sexual energy, which you can then redirect into different parts of your body. You can actually try to envision that force that you generate via the excitement. You can visualize it as going up to your head. So anyway, this is for another topic, but I'm just saying that it's not only a benefit for you to stop watching porn, it's also a great benefit for you to stop ejaculating because that energy can go to a higher purpose. So anyway, I hope this video was somewhat informative and insightful and if you do struggle with porn addiction and if you have watched this video this is the sign from the divine that you should definitely stop and also if you have any good advice yourself do share them in the comment section so you can help others to get rid of their demon of pornography i will say for myself that i never really struggled i simply woke up one morning and said this is not worthy of me i'm not going to do it again because this doesn't align with my ideal version of myself but i know many guys they have had a tougher struggle so i welcome your insights and knowledge here anyway thank you for watching and best of luck xoxo boom